What's up, everybody? My name is Jersey John. This is my brother in arms over here, Butcher. We are the Fermented Fanatics. We are coming at you with beer reviews, anything fermented, mead. Butcher doesn't like wine. He actually thinks it's a, it's a sissy drink. I kind of like it if I'm in the mood. But I never said that. Yeah, well, either way, you implied it. So, either way, what we're going to do is we're not only going to be reviewing beers and anything fermented, we're going to be talking about life, seeing how his life is, how my life is, and just comparing notes and what we're into. And, you know, one of our major interests is beer. Crafted, beer. bottled, canned, pint, whatever. So, we're going to be going through it, see, picking our favorites, and we're going to tell you what we think. We're just two ordinary guys that like drinking beer. So, here we go. Not in a frat boy kind of way, though. No, no, definitely not in a frat boy kind of way. Definitely no, we not don't, in a frat boy kind of way. We don't really do, well, I mean, we do, we do do the cheap beers sometimes. Got to have water at some point, right? Yeah. I was never, like, speaking of cheap beer, I was never into, like, Natty Ice. Or, like, nat, like... Never, natty Ice never got to me, um, but I, I do like a PBR. Yeah, you do, you are a fan of PBR. I mean, cheap it's beer... Gotta be it's got to be ice freaking cold. Yeah, that is true. Any cheap beer has to be cold, though. My opinion. All right. Go ahead. No, I said in my opinion, pretty much all beer has to be cold. I know people in Ireland don't really necessarily agree, mm. especially when it comes to Guinness. I just, I just can't stomach drinking warm beer. I, maybe because I get bloated, but that's a little too much personal information. Are you retaining water? Yes. I retain water all the time. You're going through the change. Anyway. Changes. But, all right. So, without further ado, I say we start off with, uh, just so everybody can see it here, Troegs Perpetual IPA. I got a can. He got a bottle. Yep. I have it in a bottle. Butcher has it in a can. So, if you guys ever find it, you can find it in either one. Let's see what we got here. That's the governmental warning we don't care about. Uh, oh, yeah, I, it, I will say, if you are pregnant, I, we don't encourage drinking. Please don't. We don't want cross-eyed babies. You're underage. Especially, yeah, and especially if you're underage, that too. I'm trying to look to see if there's, like, any kind of ingredients in this bastard. Uh, hops. Oh, here we go. We got the hops that are used to make this are Bravo, Chinook, Mount Hood, Nugget, Citra, and Cascade hops. So, cue in the sexy pour footage. Yeah, sexy pour footage. I think uh, it's got a nice color to it. You look at that. It's like it a wow. That does have a nice color a to it. Golden. Ah, uh, my freaking background. That's whatever. I'm gonna change it hold on oh blur maybe that'll work yeah well, here maybe. it is yeah there it is nice nice yeah nice cool. yours looks a lot I mean, it could be the camera but yours looks a lot lighter than mine i don't know if it's maybe because it's can versus bottle well i don't know but mine's more of a brown yours looks definitely more of a blonde yeah definitely definitely a blonde yours kind of looks a little amber yeah like more of an amber style to it but I'm bringing back the other background. I hate that shit. Whatever. Whatever. Do what you want. Do what you want. I do what I want. I do what I want. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. We're going to play the uh, Jeopardy theme when Butcher picks his background. Do, 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 do. All right, fine. Whatever. Let's go back to that. Fuck it. All right. Skull, my brother. Watch it. Ooh. Got a nice smell. Yeah. Definitely. I picked up the smell. Definitely. I like the citrusiness of it. It's mild. Yeah. I don't usually I don't usually go for like very heavy citrus beers, but that it's there. Yeah. But it's not it's not very heavy and it's it makes it very, very tasty. I like it. I like it. That's a thumbs up. Yeah, I definitely will give this uh one to um, one to repeat. That is for sure. No. Not a bad, not a bad aftertaste. No, not 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 uh, bitter. No. Trying to place that. 
I don't know. It does have it does have a nice aftertaste. That that breath out after it's, the sip. Yeah, it's is, pleasant. Uh, You're not like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not just, not trying to you know chew my face off. Right, it's good. No, I do like this. I like this a lot. So it's good. I say we enjoy this one. Show. So, I know. The cool thing about getting bottles over cans is that when a brewer uses, like, they leave in the yeast, mm -hmm. or you have, like, any kind of, like, particulate in there from the brewing process. Right. You can see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the cans, you can't. No. No, <laughs> the cans, you can't. Oh, God. What, what brew was that that I had? It was a peach something. And I, I tanked, thing. like, they were, they were tall, tall ones, too. Tall mm -hmm. cans. I tanked like three of them in a night. Didn't even realize that they that all that yeast was down there at the bottom. And I'm kind of like the drink the whole beer kind of guy. Oh, so you got the yeast cake at the bottom? Oh, oh the mama. day after, no fun. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely not fun at all. A lot of time on the toilet. Yeah, yeah. But this is good. No, there's this is of, definitely there's good. That, there's none of that in here. It's no, this is definitely good. Um, I mean. Listen, I, I there's a couple things you you and I have known each other for how long now? Probably about a year. Oh, no, I would say through Marco yeah. Polo, a couple mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. You know, recently you and I have you know gotten a little closer. We've established that we have quite a few things in common. Indeed, um, music is one. We both like heavy metal. Um, we both enjoy beer, and uh, we both ride. We both ride. Yeah. Oh, what? Speaking of riding, what was the weather like out there today? Because oh, we had a high of sixty-eight degrees, partly cloudy. Dude, like, it, dude it was today, 70... was today was picturesque. It was today gorgeous. was seventy-three. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh man, it's awesome. Not windy. Did... It was cold this morning, though. It was chilly this morning. It was. It chilly. was... I'd say it was forty-something this morning. Yeah, it was 40-something yeah. this morning here. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm in Jersey, hence the name Jersey John. Butcher lives out in Ohio, so he gets a fuckload more snow and crappy weather than I do. Um, and it's a lot colder by him for a lot longer. So, over. Yeah. <laughs> but, Poor over. You know, I mean, so, you know, I, I don't know if I told you this, but I'm redoing the whole bike. You did mention something, but you didn't really get into, like, what you were doing. So, the bike is going to go from the goldish color. And anybody who's watched our podcast before, the motorcycle that's usually behind me, that's the bike I'm talking about. Excuse me. Um, I'm hydro-dipping the, the whole bike. So, the tank, the fenders, the oil tank, we're all getting hydro-dipped with, a, like, a navy color. Well, I haven't decided between navy or black, but the pattern is going to be lightning. Instead of like the traditional, you see like flames. Yeah, I remember you. I remember you mentioning it. And yeah. And I'm gonna do pretty much all the chromes coming off, and it's I'm gonna do 10 inch apes. So not I'm not driving like this. No, you're not, you're not like. I'm. I'll be. I'll be for me because I'm a bigger dude. Good ride. I'm, I'm gonna be right. level. Yeah. So I'll be level, and so my shoulders and everything won't get tired. But I can't wait, dude. I cannot wait. I know she. What I, I have a. It's a, a. Oh God! What year is it? It's an O. I want to say an O eight Yamaha V Star eleven hundred. Oh, that's my old bike. That's one I. I my, yeah, my. So I had my my was. I want to say it was an O eight or an O six. V Star eleven hundred custom. Oh, you're almost done, huh? Oh. And then I had gotten rid of that one. I went about six years without having a bike. And then the guy down the road from me was selling this one. This is the 1700 Roadstar. Okay. And wanted like three grand. I was like, can I come take a look at it? He's like, yeah. How many miles, How many miles did it have on? When I bought it, it was 92. 9,200, that's... Eh. For an 05? 
Yeah, that's pretty good for, I mean, for a bike, I mean, bikes aren't like cars in that way. No. You're not going to get like hundreds of thousands of miles on a bike. No, but I've, I mean, I've seen bikes going now, like 25,000 miles, people want six grand. You know, it, and if it's a Harley, forget it. And I love Harleys. I love Harleys, but Harley's price market went through the roof. And uh, vehicles across the board, their prices went up all over the goddamn place. Yeah. I don't even want to tell you what I just paid for the car that I bought. I don't I'm even embarrassed. want to know. Don't even want to talk about it. It's fucking hideous. Yeah, I don't even want to know because I'm looking at for a used car myself and it, I just want to stab myself in the face. Tell you this, it is actually more cost effective at this point in time where the auto market is to buy new. Yeah, absolutely. If you can, if you have the credit for it. Yeah, which I have no credit, and I have bad credit. So, <laughs> rather have bad credit than no credit because you have no credit, and they look at you and you're like, they're like, "Wow, you don't exist." Yeah. Hey, hey, let's do it. You Round did, two. You did, well, I'm done. I'm done with the first one. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You're doing uh, Voodoo now? Voodoo Ranger. So, Voodoo Ranger. ladies and gentlemen, this next one is Voodoo Ranger. Unfortunately, Butcher and I could not find the exact same one, but it is an IPA. We both have IPAs. Mine is Juicy Haze. Juicy Haze. And I have Juice Force. This one is a Hazy Imperial oh, IPA. Hey, hey, hey. This is, I don't, does it tell me how much fucking alcohol is in this one? What's the percentage on yours? Seven, five. I think mine was, I think mine was seven. I, I'll, oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. 9.5. <laughs> there you go. 9.5. So 9.5. And then this one has. I don't care because I can't read it because it's the camp. <laughs> So, well, uh, it says juice, but I'm I'm assuming it's gonna taste juicy. Da, da, da. Oh well, I guess Voodoo Ranger doesn't like sharing their secrets. Then I guess not yours either, huh? My, uh, my can doesn't have any uh any real details about it either. Yeah, I'll check the box. It's brewed in North Carolina. There you go. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Before. Sorry about this, but Troegs was actually brewed in. I saw it before. Where'd it go? Uh, Hershey, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Nice. So it's right around the corner for me. Go get chocolate and beer. So fresh yeah. glass. Oh, you got your fresh glass. All right, I'll go with the fresh Port. glass. Fresh glass. Cue sexy pour music. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't uh -oh. you do it. Don't you fucking do it. How oh, is it? God. How is it that I feel that like I got... Pour. Yeah, I got my... Mine was a pretty shitty pour, too. Like, I, I got a little too much head on it. But... Never too much. Well, there's never too much head. We know that. Unless you're mm -hmm. married for a while. And then... We don't... We still think there's not too much. But partners have a different say so all right i will take a sip first since they are a little bit different wow they're not kidding mm -hmm. this does not drink like an ipa at all no the voodoo rangers are pretty good like that yeah this like is they don't get not hoppy at all. Um, it definitely tastes the juice. Like as far as like the, I'm just trying to place the the kind of juice that I taste. It's almost kind of like a mix between like a grapefruit and an orange. Yeah, yeah, I would say grapefruit and orange juice. You got that citrusy oh. ting to it, but the smoothness of like an orange juice. Head nose. Can't place it. It's got a good smell. This uh, this smells hoppy. Yeah, see, mine, hoppy. mine doesn't smell hoppy at all. 
Like it doesn't smell hoppy. There's no like backbite to it. A little bit of juice in that. A little bit of like a little bit of the citrus. Like I'm it's it's clear that the brewing industry loves that combination. Like yeah. they take oh, the yeah. IPA and they make the put the citrus in there. The flavors do combine very well, but it's it's way overdone. Way yeah. too many people making the, the citrus beers now. Yeah. They're very I mean, popular. They now. definitely have their place. I was never so I was never a real big IPA person because everyone I used to drink was literally like wanted to burn your face off. But lately and here comes the sip. Oh. Really good. Yeah? Uh, yeah. A little citrusy. A little hoppy. Um, you can definitely tell it's an IPA. Um, there is like a like an after kick mm -hmm. of flavor that I just got, which was the face. I was like, ooh. A little tickle on the scrotum. Nah, you're not close enough. Yeah, well, not, not me. You, you. Right now, a little, 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 little tickle, little tickle. It's little. good. Like it. God, I like it. There you go. Uh, there you go. Cheers. Now this is a this is a dangerous thing that we're doing. Yes. Yes, it is. Because I I I really enjoy drinking the beer. As you can tell, I finished my first one in like, you know, five minutes. Yeah. Which is, you know, I was I was having a little bit of an anxiety moment earlier, so like that 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 alcohol kicked in and I was like, ah oh, that's nice. Take the rest of my medicine later. There Put me go. right in bed. There you go. Uh, Did no. you listen to that Lamb of God album? So, I don't know if it's just my Spotify, but, like, I tried to listen to it, and it played every other song by Lamb of God except for the new ones. Oh. Like, I specifically looked up the album. Yeah. And it just was, like, playing, like, old Lamb of God. I'm like, I don't want this. I want omens. I want omens. And... In, um, it might... They might not have released it yet for, Oh, like, it shows listening. it there. It shows it on Spotify. It shows it right there, and I don't I, know. and it just goes to some. Yeah, it's probably just my, the way my Spotify's cooked up because I don't. I'm a, I'm a cheap bastard and I don't pay for Spotify. I'm I'm the not cheap bastard and I pay the monthly for monthly music on iTunes. Yeah, yeah. See. Of course, I'm I'm looking at the new and looking for new shit thing like every day. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I, I mean, God, well, actually, it's been a couple of days since I even down. I'm still in it. My music, Sorry, what texting? My music taste is my music taste is weird, though, man. Like, I love heavy metal, right? I love heavy metal. Don't get me wrong, but you know, I'm I'm still big into like old school hip hop. I like country music. You know, not like twangy, like, you know, but I like, you know, decent country music, rock and roll still huge. Like, you know, you when you popped in before, I was listening to that remake of Separate Ways by Orson City. You know, it's it just I'm I'm into things that like when I'm in a mood, it's what I want to listen to. And I can listen to it until I'm dead with it. Oh, I'm I'm very much the same. And when and this is going taking it back a little ways, but our liberal Santa, if you remember this, did state that my musical taste is very broad. Like I have a I have a very wide spectrum of stuff that I listen to. Metal is my you know like my go to. Yeah. But like really like the sky's the limit. There are country songs that I've liked. They're not really like crazy, super like not twangy stuff. Yeah. I like more traditional country if i am going to listen to country um but then there's you know like like electric crap rock crap mm -hmm. like some rap crap like yeah i mean listen crap, it, oh crap. you can't go wrong with old school tupac old school biggie well well 
No, wasn't really a wasn't really a Tupac or Biggie fan, but who'd you like? Okay. Uh, Wu Tang, oh, the Grave okay. Diggers, Grave Diggers, Wu Tang. You know, times. yeah. I mean, go with that to get back to metal. Okay, because that's where my heart is at. Yeah. Um, now you've heard you've heard the older uh, Lamb of God stuff. Yeah. So you've heard, you know, like. Uh, Jesus, like uh, Redneck yep. and uh, all of those older songs, mm-hmm. and you kind of saw like the the progression of how their how their uh, songwriting went and how they were getting more and more technical. They were yeah. putting more and more aspects into their music. Yep, I think that Omens is is a really really good example of how the COVID pandemic. And I know just shut up with that. I know like everybody's using it as a, as a fucking crutch, whatever, but you can hear it in the, in the musical production and just in how the songs were written. It's got a very, um, a very less is more feel to it. Okay. It's real. It's really raw, raw. It's chunky. It's fast at points. It's, it's a great fucking album. Like omens is a good, fucking album nice i definitely recommend spending money on it because nice. it's worth it yeah i will definitely uh somehow figure out how to play my spotify with it and definitely listen to it or you could not spend money on it and be a cheap bastard who are you ogre yeah well that's true it's good um i heartily recommend what okay where is it here Vanishing is very good. Okay. Ditch. Ditch? Ditch is the name of the song. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and Denial Mechanism. All right. So, Vanish, Ditch, and Denial Mechanism. That sounds like a plot for a murder story. Vanish, Ditch. Ditch. Denial. denial. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good murder mystery. Sure. Or a just psycho killer story. That too. My my last my last beer that I'm not gonna you know show until we're drinking the beers is uh oh it's only seven point one seven point oh but it was stronger than that. My last one is never mind. My last one is six point five. So go with the light one last. Yeah. But those are those are our highlights. What I'll, what I'll consider our local highlights. Okay, so we'll yeah, introduce sure. that segment to the show. Local highlight. Local highlights. I like it. Everything else is across the board, That's across right. the country. Got to get some of those stones in here too. Stone beers. Yeah. Oh damn you! This time, fuck you. <laughs> I was looking for stone. I couldn't find it. I was looking for stone. I was looking for a couple of things. Uh, so you're also into uh, gaming, my friend. Who is you? Oh no, I'm not. You're not into gaming. So, Mister Mister Destiny Two himself is not into gaming. I don't have calluses on my thumbs. <laughs> no, never. Nah, not me. So yeah, gaming. I love gaming. Yeah, you, me, and you, me, and Joe used to play Destiny like crazy. And then y'all quit on me. I don't know, man. And, like, I had to replace you. and nobody is, nobody just, just, no replacements. No, it's, just, I mean, I will say this. I, before I belch all my beer out, um, ah. I will, I like, I enjoyed Destiny. I did. Um, you didn't even get to do any raids either. I think together we didn't. I did a few like myself. I think no. Yeah. It's a raid is a six person activity that oh, you just get right. pumped if you try to do it by yourself. There's no way. Oh no, that's a lie because there are people that solo raids, but they're psychotic. Yeah, well, and they play way too much. Well, because what was it? It was Destiny Two, and then the Witch Queen, right? Uh, Witch Queen. Yeah, that was a that was the expansion. Yeah, because I thought. See, it's weird because I thought I had it under Witch under. I forget who had was it Activision first? Uh-uh. Who had it first? Oh no, it was Bungie, right? Bungie had it first. And then who had it? 
Blizzard took over for a while. That's what it was, Blizzard. And then they gave it back up to Bungie. And it, after they gave it back up to Bungie, it went on to Steam. Yeah. So I remember having the Witch Queen. Because that's when you, me, and Joe were playing. Yeah. I yeah. looked at it the other day in Steam. And it just says I have the base game. I mean, now granted, I know there's been a few expansions past that. Yep. I just, I it was like one of those things where I was like, I know I just, I know I own more than the base game. But, I don't know, like. I don't know. My gaming's kind of like my music. It's all over the place. You know, I mean, Joe, with his, Joe has his, you know, very small channel. Uh, Joe on it. Tiny. Yeah, tiny. tiny. Look, look up Joe on it on YouTube. It's just a tiny channel. backing on our goddamn podcast, that bastard. He's yeah. like a parasite. <laughs> He's he's mooching all of our he's mooching all of our totally <laughs> all of our all of our 122 he's subscribers. Really, the other way around. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and we're stealing. Well, not stealing because it's a different genre, but we're you know we're kind of adopting some of his followers. Yes. I know a bunch of his followers have, and actually, I I I was playing a uh, hell at loose with him. Yeah, and a bunch of the guys that listen to the podcast were on there. Yeah, Dang. yeah. Well, was, no, was, they do. Uh, bearded and a couple other uh, his other guys were there that they all listen to the podcast. Like, oh, oh yeah. hi guys. Yeah, uh, no, they all listen to. Oh, so, you're not quiet. They suck. So right. So the best part is Jeff the Brewer that was on the podcast, right? Yeah. yeah. I told him that Joe was coming here next weekend. Oh. Because Joe, his wife, and our nieces are coming here mm -hmm. for the weekend. And he's like, wait, who who's coming? Because Veterans Day, you know, for our brewery, it's a it's a vet-owned brewery, so Veterans Day uh... is like a huge thing. Like, it's a whole weekend event. So, Friday night, we're doing a big dinner Friday night when they get here, and then Friday night, the adults are going to go to the brewery. If you're a vet and you hear this podcast, you're in the Jersey area or Philly or any local area, check out Backward Flag Brewing Company on Facebook and Instagram. They have the event schedules up. Come out. Come out. Tell them I told you. I'll buy you your first round. So. Could be a lot of rounds. Yeah. So, absolutely. Motherfucker, you got deep ass pockets. Mm-hmm. No. That I will. <laughs> but. You know, it, it it's it's a cool brewery. Um, I actually enjoy. Yeah. So speaking of that, you first. Oh, me first. You okay. First. Well, I have here um, a beer from Lock Fifteen Brewing Company, which is in Akron, Ohio. Very nice. And it's a, a seven point zero ABV. And uh, let's see if they put some kind of a. Uh, Well, doesn't have a uh, oh, like an ingredients list here, hmm. but if you can see that it says habanero IPA. Very nice. It does say that it's uh, fire. It's infused with fire roasted habanero peppers. Oh, that's gonna be spicy. Hard orange puree is used in the uh, in the brewing process. Smoke malt, citrus, hot pepper. Okay, yeah. This is, if you're ever in the Akron area, if you're ever in Cleveland, if you can find this beer, and this is the Station 3 IPA, if you can find this beer, buy it. It's fantastic. I've had it before. All right. So this one, I am as I was saying. You're up waiting for this. Yeah, so... As I was plugging away at the brewery before, this is actually from Backwards Flag Brewery. Yeah, there it is. The name of the beer is STFU. And if you don't know what STFU means... Shut the fuck up. That's right. It is a... Oh, no, I really meant it. Huh? I really meant it. Yeah, I know. Either way. Notice how I'm listening. So... But this is an actually a coffee pale ale. So. I want to try that one. I'm a little jelly. So this is, I'll read you the description right, right off the rip. 
Coffee Pale Ale, brewed by veteran-owned brewery Backward Flag Brewing Company out of Forked River, New Jersey. Creamy body pale ale brewed with an abundance of oats and veteran-owned Black Six coffee. Oh, dude, look at this. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, nice. Oh. Nice. This is a, this is, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this has a, this has got a great color. It's like a little bit of an amber, nice head. So to finish this one off, so not only is it brewed with veteran-owned Black Six coffee, look it up online, Black Six coffee. This is actually conditioned with Madagascar vanilla as well. So once the brewing and the fermenting is all done, they, they condition it with Madagascar vanilla. One of my That's favorites right now. Fucking great. One of my favorites right now. He actually did. Great. So Jeff, big up Jeff, the brewer. He is a member of our Degenerates universe. Thank he you, actually, Jeff. He actually brewed this. He did something a little different this time. He actually kept the coffee in longer um, and left it through the Whirlpool stage. So you actually pick up a lot more of the coffee this time oh homie you gotta get me some of that oh absolutely i'll ship you out some <laughs> i, I want to try that that sounds delicious mm. all right so the nose on this you can't really smell the habanero okay uh, it's uh definitely smell the citrus though That's good. Now, is it spicy though? Like, yes, yes. It's got a, it's got a little bit of a like a heat a spicy bit or like a, bite. like a heat spicy. Like you ate habaneros like with nachos. Okay, so <clears throat> I was about to get into this, but you started asking questions. I'm so sorry. here it is. On the um, on the initial sip, you get like that smoky, a little bit of a, a little bit of like a sweet pepper taste. And then you can feel the habanero, like that that capsaicin that's in the habanero. Mm -hmm. You can you can feel it just starting on the initial sip, and then you swallow, and you breathe out, and it's like hot. Ooh, <laughs> it's fucking great. <laughs> oh, I mean, listen, if you're a fan of spicy shit, I, I love spicy. See, I love spicy shit too, but I'm nervous when it comes to beer. Like I. I'm not saying I wouldn't try it, because I probably would. But, all right, here we go. So, right off the rip, this smells like cold coffee. It smells like, a, like literally just cold coffee. You definitely taste coffee through and through. Like you get the you get the 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 carbonation of the beer, and you you have that aftertaste of the beer, but it kind of goes in stages, right? It so like you take a sip, like you're drinking an iced coffee, you get that coffee taste, and then right at the like right midway, you get that little bit of the vanilla, mm -hmm. and then you finish off with that beer, that beer like the hoppy carbonation, kind of like in your nose, yeah, and then the breath out is just coffee it's to me one of the best beers i've had in a long time mm. um, it sounds good like i said i want one i'll no i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna ship you some but on that note ladies and gentlemen we out it has been a pleasure thank you for joining us for the first episode here's to the final sip We'll be back. Cheers, my brother, to many more episodes of this. Cheers. It has been fun. Join us next time on the Fermented Fanatics.